Okay, in this video I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do with your calculator um, to work with functions, which maybe you've never done before, maybe you have. Um, what we need is, uh, we need a calculator page. Um, so I'm going to add a calculator page. And the first thing I want to do is I want to actually define a function. So to do that, uh, I'm going to type F and then uh, open parentheses. So you can kind of see what's happening over here. I press that key, um, F of X and then arrow out of the parentheses, and I'm going to press control, and then this template key, which takes you to the uh, colon equal sign, like that, and then uh, you can type whatever the function is, so I'm going to use just 3x minus 5, not a very exciting function, just a linear function, um, but now I have it defined. Uh, what's nice is once it's defined, you can press this var key, uh, which will uh, pull it back up for you, so if you want to evaluate f, uh, you could just type f, which is fine, uh, but if you go to var, press that, and select it, so I can do f of 3. Uh, if I want, I can directly type f of, let's say, 5. Um, and then there are actually other ways of evaluating functions. Uh, you don't really need to know them, but they're kind of neat. So I could do f of x, and then I'm going to press control and the equals key. And then go to this uh, vertical line here. Uh, that's the such that key. So what I'm going to do is I'll press enter. And I want to tell this now that I want to do f of x such that x is equal to 3. So what it's going to do is replace every x that it sees in the function with uh, the number 3. So I should get 4. Uh, what's nice about this uh, is another way, by the way, once you've evaluated the function once, is to just arrow up and paste it down. So whatever has this box on it is going to paste. Uh, so I want to paste this like that. I'm going to delete this. And now I'm going to evaluate it more than one value at one time. So I'm going to press Control and then the close parenthesis to get these curly braces. And now what I can do is I can put numbers in here and separate them with a comma. So I've got three commas, the bottom left button here, um, five. So this is going to return a list of numbers, uh, four and 10, and the four corresponds to plugging three into f of x, and the 10 corresponds to plugging five into f of x. Uh, so we have that. Uh, so that's a couple things you can do. Um, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to define another function but I want to do it in a way that doesn't get in the way of what I just did. So I'm going to press the doc key and go to insert, and I'm going to insert a problem. So if I insert a problem and then calculator page again, you can see at the top here, I have 1.1 and 2.1. Uh, on your calculator, you go back and forth, press control to the left, it takes you to 1.1, control and to the right, it will take you to 2.1. Um, if I press the var key here, you can see there's nothing because I'm doing a new problem now. So all the things that were defined in the previous problem don't apply. Um, so here I'm going to define a function, but not a function of x, a function of t. So I'm going to do h of t and then colon equals, uh, let's say negative 16 t squared plus 20 t plus 18 for whatever reason. Um, and then once I've done that, I can now evaluate it um, either by typing h of, let's do h of 4 do h of 4, um, I can press the var key, get h and 4, um, or I can do the such that thing, so I can do h of, now I defined as h of t, but I could put an x here, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to go h of t, and then such that, which is control equals, and then I always go 1 to the left, which bounces you down there, uh, you can get there however you want, uh, t equals 4, so all of those are, are kind of valid methods, I don't even remember what I did here. Uh, I don't know why that's there twice. Whatever, you probably remember because you're watching the video. Um, so just to kind of show what the var key is doing for you, if I define another function, um, let's say, let's go with 3x minus 5. Um, now when I press the var key, I get both functions and I get to pick between them. Uh, so these are kind of the basic calculator things that you need to know how to do with a function. Uh, they'll speed your life up a little bit when you're doing math. Um, and that's probably a good thing. So I hope you found this helpful and uh, good luck.